When I first started practicing bushcraft, I never really understood the benefits of a folding saw. However, when I started to live in the woods properly and run a camp cutting up firewood, I noticed that the sort of jobs that you do day to day, for example, firewood preparation, um, taking down limbs from trees, were a lot more effort with a knife or an axe than it could be with a saw. Um, so last year I got myself a Laplander folding saw and it's an absolutely brilliant saw, uh, especially for the money. You know, it's, uh, it's lightweight, it's very good at cutting, it locks both open and closed. Um, but just recently I've heard a bit more about these uh, silky saws from Japan. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to buy one. I bought a, uh, a Pocket Boy silky saw. And I guess the idea of this video is basically to compare the two different designs of bushcraft saw. So right here in a cunning little pouch I keep next to my knife, I've got the silky saw. First thing I noticed when I got this saw was just how small it is. It's, uh, it's only got a 170mm blade, but for the size it's absolutely devastating against green and dead wood. It doesn't lock closed, so you just open it just like that. But it locks open in not just one position, but two positions. The first position is just for your general cutting, so you're using that for when you're cutting overarm. However, when you want to prune a branch properly, by doing an undercut, you lock it into the second position and you can hold it backhand like so. The steel on this saw, I believe, is some form of carbon spring steel. It's chrome plated and the teeth are hardened to 67 Rockwell, which is very, very, very hard. Um, one benefit that this would give is increased edge holding. Um, however, it can be quite brittle. Um, one of the things that Silky has done to address this is this is a pull saw. Rather than a saw that cuts going forward and backwards, this one only cuts on the pull stroke. It retails for about £30 on, uh, on the internet. If you shop around you can get it for as little as £28. Um, it comes in two sizes. One has a 130mm blade. This one is a 170mm blade. I decided to get the large blade just because it increases the flexibility of the tool. But how does it compare to the Baco Laplander? Well, see the Laplander has about an extra inch in it in length. However, the Laplander is much lighter. This one is primarily metal construction, whereas the Laplander is well, pretty much all plastic except for the screw and the blade. The Laplander locks closed and locks open has one fixed locking position which is very strong. The blade has a black coating which I believe works to reduce friction and the blade also cuts in both the pull and the push stroke. Okay so first up let's try the old favourite the Baco Laplander. Now for comparison's sake, let's try the Pocket Boy. First thing I notice um, with the two saws, there's not much in it when it comes to the time of cutting, but that's the finish left from the Baco Laplander. You see it's quite a rough, coarse finish. Whereas this is from the Silky. It's, uh, it's not quite polished, but it's getting there. It's a very smooth finish. And if you're into arboriculture or you're a tree surgeon, this would be the saw to go for because it leaves a nice smooth finish and allows the tree to heal quickly. So as you can see, both of the saws perform extremely effectively. As to which one is the best, I think it really comes down to personal preference. You're paying about 10 quid less the silky if you're buying the Laplander. This retails at about 15 quid from Amazon. So it's a, it's a really, really good bargain saw. Um, I have to say the silky has an all metal construction, so it feels a bit heavier, but it also feels a bit stronger. Um, 
the grip I prefer on the Silky just because it seems to fit the hand a lot easier. Not that that makes much difference. Um, as for the speed of cut, I'd say my money's probably on the Silky, just marginally. But it doesn't really make that much difference. I mean, uh, these might be brand new saws, but over time they're going to wear, they're going to get slower at cutting, and that's when it's time to replace the blade.